Elder John Henry Smith addressed the congregation. He spoke of the gradual but noticeable growth of the kingdom of God, and, as a natural consequence, the bitterer and fiercer persecution is arrayed against it. There is a steady onward and upward movement of the progress of the cause of Zion. By following the directions of the Spirit of the Lord, as made manifest through his servants, there is safety in our movements. In speaking of the laws passed for the purpose of depriving us of our liberties, he desired to recognize the hand of the Lord in all these things, which under the overruling hand of the Lord are intended to accomplish great and grand results among the people of God. He spoke of the many deliverances that God had wrought out for us in times past, and that, too, at the very crisis when the hand of oppression seemed to threaten the heaviest. He made a special appeal to parents to look well after the best interests of their children, not only by warning them of the many snares and devices that beset their early youth, but by instilling into their tender minds the principles of the gospel. It is not only the duty of parents to send their children to school to learn the rudiments of education, but they should also personally instruct them in regard to their physical organization, that they may know how to grow up to manhood and womanhood, in the full enjoyment of mental and physical strength. Christ came to save us from our sins and to reveal to us a perfect law of liberty, and by faithfully living in accordance therewith, we shall grow up to be men and women in Christ Jesus.